So technology continues to evolve and to be critical to all of the organizations that we work with. And I think technology risk management is an essential part of enabling those strategies. If you think about the evolution of technology risk management, I think often many organizations in the financial services sector and other highly regulated environments embraced it. And they embraced it pr primarily because regulators you know, and other oversight bodies were needed to make sure that they had those types of controls in place. I think the discussions that we would have with CIOs five, ten years ago was very much about performance of an IT department. What I find exciting is that the change of that dialogue over the last you know, three, four years is much different. I think that technology risk management has, has been part of organizations for years at varying levels of maturity, but really what the focus has been is really around formalizing and focusing and setting up structure really at the first line of defense. As companies' IT estates are growing and the complexities associated with operating IT and innovating around IT to meet business strategies, IT increasingly needs to be at the table to hold relevant conversations with enterprise risk and with those charged with company compliance and audit and things of that nature to better inform an understanding of risk and to better design how we collaborate to manage those risks on the ongoing basis. So I think the board's role in managing technology risks has continued to evolve over the years and technology being a key driver of business strategy and enabling the business. As a result, technology risk is a key component of that as well in making sure as new technologies and solutions are being deployed that the risk side of it is being addressed as well. It's important to consider not just Again, what companies are operating today and what um, the day-to-day -day technology estate looks like, but also thinking forward about additional applications, new technologies, new third parties or service providers who might form a part of the broader IT estate mix that introduce new risks to the company that should be managed as well. Collaborating across industries, we're seeing more and more companies support each other and inform each other's approaches to identifying predictively new risks to the IT estate. Companies are achieving this through participating in share forums, participating in industry-specific and cross-industry surveys, joining and participating actively in public knowledge bases, and things of the like to really drive dialogue and to inform across industry the approaches companies can take to be more effective and not only managing today's risks, but identifying and predictively working to manage tomorrow's risks. The broad context really of looking at technology risk management is really looking at the enterprise risk as a result of adopting technology and making sure that you're thinking about it in a holistic framework of what can be a risk to the organization from it. While companies are struggling still to fine tune and to get the recipe right, for each of their own situations, we're seeing a lot of companies invest and very effectively derive results from more collaboration with compliance functions and audit functions and enterprise risk management functions to the tune of freer information flow, more transparency around the risk situation, and more effectiveness around how to design the risk mitigation strategies that will be implemented and operated over time.